today let's take up debentures issue of debentures first of all let's understand what is a debenture uh, I'll just write down the main features of a debenture and also a definition for debenture so let's first try to understand what a debenture is it is an instrument issued by a company acknowledging a debt and is a contract for the repayment of the principal sum at a specified date and for the payment of interest at a fixed rate per fixed rate until the principal sum is repaid okay now let's first try to understand this debenture is an instrument issued by a company <coughs> acknowledging a debt so it's basically a debt given by the uh, an amount of money is given by the public right and that is a debt and the debt has to be repaid fine and the debentures are to be repaid at a specific date right so that is fixed the date is uh, given in advance as to when the debentures will be repaid and there is always a rate of interest <coughs> sorry there is always a rate of interest which is associated with the debentures and this interest will be paid to the debenture holders every year till the debentures are repaid or redeemed right okay now this is a broad definition of a debenture now we'll just take out the points here the first one is the main points here are uh, <coughs> the mode and period of repayment of the principal and interest is fixed right rate of interest on the debentures is fixed so if we have something like this 12% uh, debentures it means the rate of debentures rate of interest is 12% if we have something like 8% debentures it means the rate of interest is 8% <coughs> this debenture is considered as a long term borrowing which comes under non uh, this one <coughs> non current assets right okay now let's look at the issue of debentures uh, let's come to this 
issue of debentures, what are the journal entries that we have to learn, right? Okay, now uh, the first one, when the debenture amount is received in lump sum, that is in one installment itself along with the application money, let's suppose, right? When the debenture amount is received in lump sum, <coughs> the first entry that we will have is bank account debit to debenture application. Instead of share application, now we have debenture application and allotment account. Right? This is <coughs> being the application money received on the debentures. Right? Now the second entry is when the allotment is made <coughs> debenture application and allotment account debit to debentures account now when the question gives something like 8% or 9% debentures we should write 2 9% debentures 2 8% debentures like that right <clears throat> this is being a lot uh, debentures being allotted to the applicants, right? <clears throat> then If any of the application is rejected, in that case, the money has to be refunded, right? So that will be debenture application and allotment account debit to bank account. <coughs> Rejection of applications and money refunded to the applicants, right? So here, <coughs> there is only one uh, installment, right? Every uh, The whole money is received with the application itself. So we put it as debenture application and allotment account, right? Now the next one in which the debenture amount is received in installment as we used to do for share capital, same way here, debenture amount is received in installments, right? So here also, what are the installments that you will have? You will have debenture application, right? Then you will have debenture allotment and then debenture call account, right? So now let's see, uh, on uh, like the first entry will be bank account debit debenture application account right this is when the money is received on application <coughs> okay second this is debenture application account debit to debentures account this is debentures allotted 
and application money transferred to debenture account right now after that the allotment money becomes due right so when the allotment money becomes due this is debenture allotment account debit to debentures to debentures account this is on allotment money becoming due right okay after that the money on allotment is received so you will have bank account debit to debenture allotment account fine this is on receipt of allotment money okay after that we have the first call or let's say there is only one call so we call it as debenture call account so that will be <coughs> debenture call account debit to debenture account this is on the call money becoming due right then on the receipt of the call money it is bank account debit to debenture call account okay this is on receipt of the call amount okay now in this case we assume that there is no refund if at all there is a refund that is some applications are rejected then it will <coughs> sorry then it will be debenture application account debit to bank account this is refund of money to uh, rejected applications right okay so these are the journal entries so we have seen two cases one is debenture amount is received in lump sum and the other is the debenture amount is received in installments okay and these are the installments as you used to have in shares so instead of writing share capital here we write debentures instead of writing share application here it is debenture application debenture allotment like this right debentures can be issued at par or at a premium or even at a discount right so as we have seen in shares here also the same case supposing the value of the debenture is rupees 100 and it is issued for rupees 100 then it is at par right so you have at par at premium and at discount these are the different ways in which a debenture can be issued okay now we will uh look at the cases of debentures being issued at par in our next session where we will take a question and we will do the journal entries for debenture being issued at Part. So with that, I'll come to the end of this session. So here we have seen basically what is a debenture, right?
what are the main features of a debenture and what are the journal entries for the issue of debentures. <coughs> so with that I will end this session. Bye.